Hi folks, <clears throat> it's uh, what, it's a quarter to ten in London in the morning. Uh, I thought I'd uh, do a Seago Sky, or a copy of Sea, but Seago Sky, Sky. But we're going for watercolour to uh, to acrylic. Uh, this one just won't be a copy; it'll just be an inspiration. Uh, and if I get it right, um, <clears throat> I'll put a bit of a texture at the bottom of the sky but we'll see how, how he gets on because uh, uh, I think a lot of people a lot of artists would be artists are put off by skies uh, so let's uh, see if we can change that uh, right so a bit of water I've got the usual the acrylic palette of uh, ultramarine cadmium red burnt sienna I'll put some of that out burnt sienna uh, Payne's Grey, which is not a colour, and uh, Cadmium Yellow. Ooh, that's quite tough. Right, ooh, get off. Oh, God. It's a good start there. <sighs> Gonna have to peel the. Uh, the uh, paint sort of congeals underneath the, the lid and uh, I try to clean it all off right there we are so that's 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 okay we're not going to use a lot of sienna and this is good practice for me because I've got a couple of demos coming up one one a paid demo and one not paid for ladies. Uh, right, so we want a bit of, bit of Payne's grey, bit of blue, bit of white. So just fill in because acrylic dries quite quickly. Uh, but you need a lot of dark to accentuate the light clouds. So here we go. Now a bit of... Mm -hmm. Just lighten that a bit. Ooh, oh, I do it every time. Put a bit of red out and it gets mixed up with the... Uh, with the blue. Uh, never mind. Mm. Oh, there we are. So we get a nice a low horizon and uh, get some good dark in here. I find sky is easy now, but they weren't. You try to put too much in, in them and spend too much time trying to paint paint them. But let's put a bit of burnt sienna in this one. Nice bit of blue.
Well, right, now we've got to keep look at the uh, contrast. Right, now we're going to lighten it. Uh, I'll change the brush. A bit of clean cloth. Touch of ochre in some of these clouds. Uh, uh, do it again. Oh, God. I hate red. OK. 
kept me in bed anyway. Look at the mess. Oh, but the, the pallet is really, I should have got a bigger pallet. It's a nice thing to use, but when it gets overcrowded with loads of paint, uh, well, you see what happens. Oh, a bit of red in the sky. Mm. Oh, The nights are getting dark. Right, let's put a bit of uh, texture in. Oh, I've got a me texture brush. It's only a, an ordinary household brush. But make sure you keep your brushes wet when you're using acrylic. Sounds good. I always just to the radio when I'm working. No, I didn't like that. time today to do a lot because we've got ten in for dinner. But all oh yeah, your pre invites to, to repay the kindness of others. You know, so that's not our turn but but we decided that we would uh, have a 
to the party without being all being retired. Uh, we can uh, indulge ourselves in a, the old afternoon. Brighten some of the tips of these. Uh, pretty picture. Bit of that sienna. small brush and highlight some of the tops of the uh, the wood the, the oh god So that's where the uh, light is, <coughs> is showing, so we'll just clean the brush. Or in other words, leave it in the drink. Uh, there's a bit of so much dry, worn out brushes texture. Uh, so we'll get quite a bit, a bit of light on that. I'm guessing all this. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm just creating <coughs> a, a picture. I like working from from an idea and then just going into it. Uh, uh, storm cloud over over something. Uh, we want that a bit darker there, don't we? So a good bit of paint grey, a bit of, bit of blue. Change the uh, palette mem membrane for over a week. crowded in my in my space uh, I've got a, it's quite a big room it's 16 foot square uh, plus a corner out for a shower room uh, but uh, it's uh, it, I'm lucky to have it uh, so anyway that's uh, a little bit of the blue and a bit of, bit of green
I think I'll leave that. That's not working. Um, carefully put, put it back in the tube. Uh, right, let me give me a text. Yeah, that one. You don't throw your brushes away when they're, they're worn out, they do lovely things. The green. Now I don't use ready-made greens. I make my greens out of the, the five colours. You can overdo this. What I want to try to do is to highlight the, the bit where the light is coming from above. Oh well, soon be Christmas. All right, I'm going to let that go. There was a demonstration of sky painting, uh, the light against the dark. That's all it is, light against dark. Plus some sort of nice shapes. Uh, right, I'll put a mount on that. Would be a good idea, wouldn't it? <coughs> uh, I think I will. Just set that up. I'll get the main brush. <coughs> Put a bit of white. Just having a walk in the countryside before the storm. Ah, she would have read that, won't she? Just adds a little bit of interest. I've changed that to red now. They're just little figures.
it didn't quite work, did it? I just think it was in a landscape. It, it's a, this is a, a sky painting, not a people painting. Right, let's put that uh, mount back. Slightly bigger in the width, but for the display purposes only. If you like that, folks, <coughs> it's quite difficult to. I'm um, all right, too. I will just strengthen it a little bit. Too much of the oak on that. There we are, overdone. Don't fiddle. That's it. That's all we're going to do. Hope you like it. Practice your skies. See what I've done. I painted the sky, then I overlaid the the, the uh, meadow, whatever. <coughs> whatever. That's just support, uh, support for the sky, really. Uh, okay. Right. Bye for now.